In this video, I am going to uh, discuss a couple of more frequently asked questions uh, uh, in the logistic regression. So one of the questions that is often asked is, uh, what is the basic difference between the three uh, important terms? One is probability, uh, the odd and the odd ratio. Okay. Odd ratio. Okay, uh, so probability uh, in logistic regression, in the context of logistic regression, is that the probability of an event happening, right? Probability of the event, right? Given, uh, you know, different information about the event, right? So when we denote it as 1 and 0, we, we say that probability of 1, right? The probability of something happening. So it could be probability. Uh, of default uh, or probability of churn. So default churn are known as the event. So probability of that happening is, is the probability in the con context of logistic regression. So what is odd then? Well odd is the probability of event probability of event divided by the probability of non-event or the event not happening. Non-event. That means the probability uh, in the case of say default, uh, the odd of default, odd of default is nothing but probability of default divide, uh, divided by the probability of uh, not default. Similarly, in the case of churn, the uh, the odd of churn is nothing but the probability of churn uh, divided by the probability of not churn, or you can say retention, right? Retained. So that's uh, odd ratio. So mathematically, we define odd ratio as the probability uh, divided by one minus probability. In the case of binary event, that means the dependent variable takes only two values, one and and zeros, right? So probability of event and one minus probability of event, right? So uh, that we call it as the odd. And the last one is the odd ratio. Well, odd ratio is just the uh, you know transformation of odd. Um, okay, so this is odd or odd ratio sorry this is odd ratio so the uh, the uh, log odds sorry the log odds so what is log odds then the log odds is nothing but the logarithm of, of odd the logarithm of odd ratio is known as the log odds and what is the importance of log odds in logistic regression and why that logarithm is being taken? Why can't you know a regression be done with one and zero? Why this transformation? Okay. Uh, well, so the idea is to have a probability. Uh, you know, find the probability, right? Uh, but probability lies always between zero and one, right? So, is, so the values are bounded. The values are bounded between 0 and 1. And in regression uh, or any mathematical uh, optimizations, uh, it, is, it is good if the values are unbounded. That means the values lie, lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. Right? If the values uh, of the dependent variable lies between two different, uh, you know, two uh, you know different boundary points then it's not a good for regression right because the variability will be limited right within that range which is not a good thing hence if you take p by 1 minus p p by 1 minus t p it is uh, uh, going to be uh, you know it's always going to be um, uh, you know unbounded right this is unbounded Okay, um, and p by 1 minus p is always a positive number, right? 
always positive. That means if you take 0.3 by 0.7, it's positive. 0.7 by 0.3, that's also positive. 0.1 by 0.9, that's also positive. That means this is always a positive number. Now, when you take a logarithm of the log odds, logarithm of log odds, this value can be between minus negative to plus negative. Why so? When you take logarithm of a fraction, it is going to be negative. Right? So, like in this case, if you take a lo a logarithm of this, this is going to be positive. When you take logarithm of, uh, sorry, in this case, it's going to be negative, And in this case, it is going to be positive. When numerator is more, the logarithm of that value is going to be positive. Whereas when the numerator is less, the logarithm of that is going to be negative. Hence, log of odd is used so that the range of the dependent variable can be in between ne minus negative to plus uh, minus infinity to plus infinity. So that's the uh, intention. Another question that is often asked is, uh, what is the importance of the likelihood uh, ratio test in logistic uh, regression? Now, this is important. Uh, well, normally what people do is that once they have, uh, you know, performed the logistic regression using any of the statistical software, directly they go into the results. Okay. Uh, so, they look at the maximum likelihood, uh, uh, you know, maximum likelihood results but that's not the proper way of you know uh, understanding or you know um, understanding your uh, results from the maximum uh, from the uh, statistical you know procedure why so well before it even you can go to look at the uh, estimates okay you should see the likelihood ratio test first likelihood ratio test so what is likelihood ratio let's first understand so the likelihood ratio test says that at least at least one of the independent variable independent variable is is uh, uh, you know um, impacting impacting or affecting or contributing you can say anything contributing to the dependent variable or you know finding out the probability right to the uh, probability finding out the probability value that means say let's say you know you, you are finding the probability of default right which is uh, beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 right so that to, you know independent variable in this case so the lr test or the likelihood ratio test will tell you that at least one of these two variable is impacting the uh, you know the probability otherwise there is no point in going forward and looking at your results final results from the maximum likelihood maximum likelihood estimation or optimization so the first thing is to look at that so if the LR test says that you know none of this independent variable actually uh, impact your dependent variable or contribute towards the finding of the probability that there is no point in going ahead and look at um, and, and you know take a look at the MLE values because, uh, because the model itself is is totally not explaining anything about the variation in the dependent variable hence before even going to you know, see the concordance values uh, or the MLE estimates. Uh, one should look at the uh, likelihood ratio test and ensure that the p value is less than 0 0.05 in the case of likelihood ratio test. Ensure that this is true. If this is not true, then you know, better you don't look at uh, the, any other results in the uh, logistic regression. So, this has to be the uh, basic criteria or the first. Or the bare minimum criteria before even you can go ahead with other results. Now, another question which is often asked is what is multinomial logistic regression and what is the ordered uh, logistic regressions? 
uh, well th these are different version of logistic integration which extends the binary logistic to uh, you know multiple uh, category of logistic integration uh, a multiple categories of dependent variable okay so you might have learned that in logistic regression we always have two values for the dependent variable one and zero right but uh, many times we may need multiple categories it need not be only two categories all the time it need not be two category all the time it could be multiple category for example you know uh, so we want to predict uh, who is going to come first who is going to come second and who is going to come third in a class okay so there are three categories here so one two and three right first second and three third uh, or we want to categorize you know the class into say you know different category good students you know average student and you know bad students so there are three categories so we don't have just two categories in this case so there we cannot use the simple logistic regression which which only uh, uses two values uh, for the dependent variable so that kind of a situation is dealt by using a special type of logistic regression known as the multinomial logistic regression so uh, in the multinomial logistic regression you cannot categorize or you cannot order the uh, different values of the dependent variable so one of the example could be uh, the choice of color okay so there are different colors let's say there is red uh, there is violet uh, green and so on and the uh, the uh, you know the objective is to predict which color is is most favorite uh, favorite of a you know group of people okay so what is the probability that red will be chosen by the a set of people so that kind of a problem is dealt by the multinomial uh, logistic regression the other one is the order logistic regression you, in that uh, so it, it's different from multinomial logic in just one way you can actually order these values okay so uh, one of the example could be ranking uh, ranking of students in a class so uh, you know ranking of like you know best students average students and then bad students academically so that could be one ordered logistic uh, regression case and then a ranking of different teams in the sports event let's say there are 36 teams who are competing for you know eight places top eight places so top eight places could be one two three four five and so on so that is order logistic regression where you can actually order in different you know types you can order in ascending uh, or you can order in descending fashion whereas in the multinomial logistic regression cases you cannot order you know uh, for example in the case of choice of color you cannot order right uh, you cannot say red is greater than violet or you know it is in between you cannot order the choice of color so that's multinomial logistic regression so that's how they are different another question which is often asked is how to take care of the nonlinear effect uh, in logistic regression uh, so the nonlinear effect in logistic regression is taken care of pretty much the same way uh, you do uh, with the multiple uh, multiple regression. So what you do is that uh, you do transformation of your independent variables, and that will take uh, that will uh, you know capture a lot of nonlinearity in in your data. So you can take the logarithm, or you can take the exponential of your um independent variables you can take higher dimension variables of your independent variables like you know if x is your independent variable then you can take x square you can take x cube and so on um so that's one way of doing it you just do a transformation of variables take higher dimension take non-linear transformation and then that's one way the other way is to uh, take the dummy variable uh, let's say you know one of the variable is behaving like this straight line and then again again changing now you can see that th there is one pattern in this area and there is another pattern in this area so why don't you take you know just divide it into two parts and take a dummy okay take a dummy variable which 
you know which is 1 in this part and which is 0 in this part or you know it can be 1 and 0 in, in opposite direction also okay and then take an interaction of that you can you can take an interaction of that with you know a number of other independent variables so that's also another way of handling the nonlinear effect in your data okay or simply you just put uh, the dummy variable in in the equation and that also will capture some a bit of uh, nonlinearity if not very efficiently but yeah it, it certainly going to uh, you know captures some amount of it okay but ensure that by doing so by you know by taking transformation and adding more variables or by taking dummy variables ensure that the model doesn't uh, overfit because when you take transformation and use higher dimension variables the model tend to overfit the data so ensure that that, that doesn't happen so how do you do that you just test uh, check for the test error so test uh, check the mean square error in the test data set not the training data set training data set is the one you will be using for development the model where to evaluate model you should always use the test data set okay or the validation data sets so that's uh, what you need to do so uh, that's the uh, you know these are the four question important question i discussed to you know get more videos just subscribe to our channel and visit our website which is in the description uh, section of this video thank you